Hey guys, welcome to Boxpad. Um, I know it's been a little bit of time, but I've been on holiday with my family and uh, haven't really had much chance to get a video done. Um, but the day has come where we have a big fight this evening in Germany. It sees Robert Stieglitz up against Arthur Abraham. Um, really big German fight here, um, but it's also for the WBO World Super Middleweight title, which Stieglitz currently has. And, uh, you know, so I, I really needed to make this video. I've been meaning to make it for a few days now, but never got around to it. But, um, so, you know, I would have liked to make this video a bit earlier. Um, but as it happens, here I am. It is what it is. Um, so let's get into it. Let's waste no time. Um, I'm picking Arthur Abraham to win this fight uh, by a decision. And I think it could be quite a close fight, but I'm, I think Abraham will get the decision. Um, now, let's talk about Abraham. Um, I've not been convinced... By him at super middleweight. I'm sure many of you haven't. Um, he was, you know, really strong at middleweight, knocking guys out left, right, and centre, really dominant and unbeaten. Then he moved to the super middleweight and entered the super six tournament. And he was um, okay. The first fight, he knocked out Jermaine Taylor late in the fight, which Carl Foch also did. But we we now know Jermaine Taylor had, you know, stamina issues and, uh, you know, punch resistance issues, particularly late in the fight. Um, and then he proceeded to pretty much get outclassed by Andre Durrell and then Carl Froch. Um, he's had a couple, a couple of good fights in between these fights, and then he lost, you know, to Andre Ward, which you know, no shame in that. Um, getting beaten by decision. Um, and I'm, I'm not fully sure if Abraham has been able to carry his power to super middleweight. Um, I'm still, you know, the jury's out on that for me. I'm not sure if he's got the same power at super middleweight as he had at middleweight, um, particularly against top class opponents. Um, you know, when he is going up against a champion here um, in Stieglitz who knows what he's doing and he's a tidy fighter. Um, so I'm going for decision here, but you know, later on, do consider that Abraham has the probably has the, the, the opportunity to stop this guy later on. Um, I thought it would be better for Abraham to move back down to middleweight, but he's adamant he wants to fight at this weight now. Something that's really um, you know, surprised me, actually, is the boxing brain that Abraham's shown. He's actually recognised his weaknesses, and he specifically stated um, before his last fight against Puerto Wilczowski that he has been working on his speed and uh, his explosiveness, basically his movement, I think. And uh, it showed in that fight. I was very impressed with that Abraham in that fight against Wilczowski. We actually saw Arthur Abraham drop in his hands. Um, I would recommend you go back and look at that fight if you haven't done so. Uh, actually, um, when this fight was announced, I hadn't really seen that fight. But on looking at that fight, basing on that fight, Abraham looked really good. He looked quicker, he looked a little bit more mobile, and he looked like he's been working on that. He's recognised that guys are just coming in there, and they, there's a blueprint now that you move around and you outclass him, you outbox him. And if you can't, you know, he's the type of fight, always been the type of fighter, Abraham, that when he's defend, he's either defending or attacking, can't do both at the same time, which is a big flaw of his. But he's been working on that. He was dropping the hands for a few moments in that fight, but it, overall he looked like he had the, more of an ability to try and um, just mix it up a bit more, you know, not be so one-dimensional. He looked a little bit more open in his style, he looked a bit more fluid, he looked a bit quicker. Um, and I think that bodes well for Ave Abraham, um, particularly for this fight. I think that he has now chosen this route to get back in, you know, get another world title at this weight, uh, to get a world title at this weight. I think this he sees this as his easiest route in Stieglitz. Um, and like I say, a big German fight, um, but I think Stieglitz one of the weaker champions probably for him to pursue at this point. Um, so I think that's the reason there. Um, a real, real crossroads fight, really, because, you know... Um, if if either guy loses, it's it's probably the start of the end, really, because um, if Abraham loses, then you know he's never going to probably get. Well, it's going to be difficult for him to get another chance at world level at a world title. And if Stieglitz loses, well, he's had the title for a while, and will he want to bother coming back and fighting for a, the title again? I don't know. So it really, is a bit of a crossroads fight in my opinion. Um, and yeah, like I said, Abraham's been working on his weaknesses, which is a good thing, and I like that about him. Let's move on to Stieglitz now, just a few mentions about him. 
For me, Stieglitz, there's nothing special. He's nothing spectacular in the ring, but he doesn't do a lot wrong either. He's got a good technical base. I think he's a he's an all-round fighter for me. He's a pretty good all-rounder. He's not spectacular in either, but he, he's got a decent defense, a decent attack. He's typical typifies the German style really. He's just difficult to break down. He's a difficult uh, you know nuisance in the ring, and and he, he makes it hard for his his opposition in a similar way you know like Felix Sturm does um, in the ring. You know, that type of guy who's difficult to break down. It's going to be difficult to take his title. Just put it that way. He's not the guy you're just going to steamroll over, in my opinion. Um, if he sticks to the game plan in this fight, he has the ability to outbox Abraham and get a points decision. We know that Stieglitz hasn't got the biggest power, the biggest punch. Um, he's not the, not a weakling by any means, but he's not got you know tremendous knockout power. And the fact that Abraham's never lost, never been stopped, um, never really been rocked, as from my memory. Um, Stieglitz really needs to stick to the game plan here and look to outbox this guy. You know, look for the 12 rounds and just try and get a decision against Abraham, um, which he can do. He has the ability to do it, um, as, the, as other guys have done, other top guys, um, if he sticks to a game plan. And one thing I'd say about Stieglitz, you know, maybe call Abraham's bluff in this one. You know, say, you know, if you want to uh, say you've turned into this different fighter, you've changed your style, let's do you do it. You know, let's make Abraham move around the ring. Let's use the whole ring. Make him chase. Then back him up. You know, Stieglitz has a pretty good attack when he wants to. Um, and, and let's try and throw combinations. The thing you've got to do against Abraham, because he's he's always fought us in a defensive shell, and he's only now starting to realise he has to uh, move out of the, you know, get some different dimensions to his game. You have to throw combinations at him. Make him put, go into that defensive shell. Because he's naturally, you know, he may have learnt all he tried to learn and change his game, but naturally he's going to go into that shell. And if you can start throwing combinations at him and getting on top of him a bit, and then move him back away from him and making him chase, you know, that's something Steve should be looking to do in this fight, in my opinion. I think he should really call Abraham's bluff and say, you know what, I'm going to just fight you like Carl Frost for you. I'm going to, I'm going to show you, you haven't, you can't change, you know, you that's the blueprint, that's how I'm going to beat you. Maybe that's the best way Stieglitz can go about it in this fight. You know, Don't try and adapt to what Abraham's doing now. Just see it as the old, the old Abraham and maybe call his bluff, You know, go in, throw, few, throw some combinations, move around the ring. You know, Stieglitz by no means is he's not a particularly slick fighter, not particularly a mobile fighter, um, but in, in comparison to Arthur Abraham we've known over the years, I think Stieglitz has the, mo has the movement advantage over him um, and that's something he could look to exploit in this fight. Uh, what else have I got? Um, I also be interested to see, like I said, that question mark over Abraham's power at this weight. Um, there has been talk of Stieglitz being a, a bit, you know, what's his chin like? What's his punch resistance like? When he gets hit, how is he going to react? Particularly against a guy like Arthur Abraham, who's known to have power. You know, I'd like to see if Abraham catches Stieglitz, how does Stieglitz react? Does he get hurt? Does he get rocked? Or is he going to take the punches? Um, I would put a bet that Abraham can rock him with some punches. And Stieglitz has to keep that good defensive shell throughout the fight because he can't just, he must make sure he doesn't give Abraham a chance, particularly late on in the fight, um, because he has game changing power, Abraham. The question mark's still out at this weight for me, but against a guy like Stieglitz from, past, from the past, who has been stopped, I think he's been stopped in both of his defeats actually, Stieglitz, so it shows that he can be hurt and that Abraham's a guy who can do that. Um, so. That's my my take on the two fighters. Um, why do I think Abraham's going to win the decision in this, in this one? Well, you know, it took me a while to come to this decision because I, it's not a given. I think Stieglitz has a really good chance in this fight, and it's a close fight. I think he'll be quite close. But I think we're going to see uh, a renewed Alfred Abraham in this fight, like we did in, in Wilczowski, and I think we're going to see a really good Alfred Abraham, maybe the best we've seen him, um, you know, at this weight. I think we're going to see a more mobile Abraham, a quicker Abraham, more explosive. I think he's going to be a bit try and work on that more, a bit more open. He's going to try and release from that shell a bit more. I think he's going to surprise Stieglitz, and I think he, uh, well, he has he has a good chance uh, to catch Stieglitz and actually get the stoppage here, the, the knockout victory. But I think he's going to get a decision. Uh, I think I'm going to go for Alfred Abraham to win the decision in this one in a close fight. So thanks for listening, guys. Please let me know what you guys think and enjoy the fight tonight. This is Mark Pedder, and I'm out.